Hey guys, I wanted to show you some examples of multiplying and dividing by powers of 10 using um, the little handy reminder, Mr. DL, uh, which stands for multiply, move the decimal to the right, divide, move the decimal to the left. So taking a look at this first problem, I have 251 and 35 hundredths multiplied by 10. Uh, now I am multiplying. Uh, so this decimal right here is going to be a moving to the right. Um, now, how many places? Well, if you color in the zero here in 10, it reminds you that uh, 10 is one power of 10. And the number of powers of 10 you're either multiplying or dividing by tells you how many places you're going to move the decimal. So in this example, uh, we are going to move the decimal to the right one place because I'm multiplying by one power of 10. Uh, so this decimal between the digits 1 and 3 is going to move one place to the right, and its new home is going to be between the 3 and the 5. So the final product of 251 and 35 hundredths multiplied by 10 is going to be 2,513 and 5 tenths. And that makes sense because we end up with an answer that is larger um, than what we started out with. We started out with 251 and 35 hundredths. After multiplying this factor by 10, we end up with 2,513 and 5 tenths. Okay, so let's take a look at this example. This example, again, is a decimal number being multiplied by a power of 10. Uh, the Mr. DL is written off to the side here, which again stands for multiply, move the decimal to the right, divide, move the decimal to the left. Now, again, we are multiplying, so we are going to move this decimal to the right. And this time, the power of 10 is expressed as a base 10 exponent. So the exponent number tells us how many powers of 10 we're multiplying by. So we're multiplying 2 and 5 tenths by 2 powers of 10. So that tells us that we're going to move the decimal to the right two times. Um, this situation is going to be a little bit different than the last, and you'll see here in a second. I have to move this decimal once, twice to the right. Um, so the decimal's new home, it's not here anymore between the two and five, but instead it moves two places to the right. I have now a two in the hundreds place, a five in the tens place, and nothing in the one. So I'm going to add a zero here as a placeholder. And so my final product for two and five tenths multiplied by 10 to the second power is 250. Now you can keep the decimal point after the ones place. Um, or you can just write 250 without the decimal. It does not matter. The value stays the same. Okay, now this is an example that's uh, division. Uh, once again, oops, Mr. DL is going to remind us that when we multiply by a power of 10, the decimal will move to the right, and we, when we divide by a power of 10, the decimal is going to move to the left. So we have 15 and 35 hundredths divided by 10. Because I am dividing, this decimal here is going to be moving to the left. And if I shade in or color in this zero in 10, it reminds me that I have one power of 10 because I've colored in one zero. So that means I'm going to move this decimal point one time to the left. So what is that going to look like? Well. I have my 15 and 35 hundredths. I need to move that decimal one place to the left. So its new home is now between the digit one and digit five. And so my final quotient is going to be one and 535 
thousands. Um, one um, caveat to the Mr. DL rule is this rule works when we're multiplying and dividing by powers of 10 uh, with values greater than 1. Uh, if you're multiplying or dividing by powers of 10 that have um, smaller values, say if you were multiplying by 1 tenth or you were dividing by 1 tenth, uh, Mr. DL does not work um, as nicely as it does with the powers of 10 greater than 1. But for the purpose of this video, Mr. DL is a handy little reminder uh, for which way we're going to be moving the decimal point, depending on whether we're multiplying or dividing. 